Hello, this is Jason Weidrow, and uh, by request today I'm going to give you a simple tutorial on using Cake PHP and a few other available scripts to create a simple image upload gallery. Um, as you can see, this is a gallery I created last night um, in just about an hour. Um, from the ground up, I created the tables and uh, baked the script, uh, prototyped it out, and then I I had to make some modifications, um, and by the way, this is Cake PHP 1.3, and I'm using the Cake Bake All feature, uh, which is really, really rapid for prototyping. Um, and you know, again, prototyping is to ensure that your relations are set up properly, and the data seems like it's all um, the data is basically being pulled into the right locations and associated with the right data, and you're basically testing that. Um, um, you know, and your naming conventions are correct and all that, so. It's an excellent way to start out on an application. But back to the point. Um, okay, anyway, what you're looking at is the actual completed application. What I've got here, um, I've got a gal, I've got galleries, and I've got images. And the uh, images belong to the galleries, and the galleries have images. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. There's two tables available. And again, I'm going to actually have uh, upload this entire script for you to download as it is. Um, you will need to modify your cake path um, in your index file and your web, web root directory to point to um, uh, your cake installation so that the script will run on your local host or wherever you're running it on a server. Um, but anyway, let's uh, so you so basically um, what what you're looking at is a complete bake script with some modifications. I'm going to jump over to the code. Um, well, first let me show you how this works actually. So I'm just going to um, I'm going to call this new picture. Choose a file here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we'll get a river picture, another river picture. So I'm basically just adding it, obviously. It's pretty straightforward. I'm adding this to, uh, uh, to the summer pictures, and the name is new picture. Um, and I can click on the summer pictures and view that category. And because that my associations are all correct, and, and again, this is just a prototype, um, using bake all and cake PHP 1.3, you can see that um, that's functioning properly. So what I'm going to do here is uh, the first thing I'm going to do is introduce you to the two um, script, the available scripts that I'm using to process the images. Uh, the first one is this MEIO uh, script, and the other one is PHP Thumb, and this is used for the thumbnail generation. Um, and again, this can be this script could be obviously um, like some other applications I've created in the past, this script can be much more advanced. Um, you know, you could use jQuery to create enlargeable photos and uh, you know, have all kinds of features built into it, but uh, usually getting the upload to work properly and uh, consistently is really where, um, from what I've seen, most Cake PHP developers have run into trouble, so I'm hoping to help iron some of that out with this. Um, Anyway, okay, so basically those these are the two scripts that I'm using. And remember, I'm gonna you're gonna be able to download this entire thing as it is. So you're not gonna need to worry too much about um, the sources of these, um, although you can download them fresh or re read up on them more. Again, it's PHP thumb and MEIO, MEIO uh, script, uploads behavior script. Um, okay, so I'm gonna jump right over to my code. Now, after everything was baked and all said and done uh, with my cake bake all, uh, what you're looking at um, is some mod is a modified uh, model for image. And what I obviously had to do here, because that's a behavior, I had to call that in. And as you can see, I'm calling it in right here um, as part of my uh, my model, my image model. And uh, basically, what you're looking at here, um, these basically bypass the default. MEIO upload configurations. And you'll see that I have my, my core MEIO upload file in my behaviors folder. Um, and you can quickly jump in here and you'll see a lot of configurations in here and you can do a lot with this, but uh, for this tutorial I'm not going to get too much into that. Um, okay, so again, just remember that the main the main files and modification are going to be your image.php uh, model file and your add um, your add template file. Now in the add file it's very important that you'll see um, that the, I modified this and I commented out the original code just so you could see the difference. 
Uh, I modified this, and I modified uh, th this, I'm sorry, excuse me, I modified this, and basically what this is telling, um, what this is telling the script is that it, when it's submitting the form, it's the, uh, the file type is actually a file, and uh, the input is actually a file. So um, just to give you a better example of that, um, I'm going to actually pull up the source code, and you'll see um, it's very important that this type is defined here as multi-party form data, and on the actual submission form, you'll see this is type file. And that's absolutely critical when doing an image upload. Otherwise, the standard bake, as you can see, would have just create, uh, generated a text entry field. Because remember, the file name is stored in the database, in the table, uh, as a file name. And then I call the path to view it. Um, and again, so again, this is the um, add file. Now let's just jump down to the... Uh, I'm going kind of quick, to, quick through this because I'm, I'm, I have a lim limited amount of time with the PHP... Um, uh, uh, requirements and the duration. So um, let's go to uh, images index. Um, and what you'll see here, um, again, is another uh, modification that I had to make. Um, again, this is this is the original baked, um, what's being called here. This is the original call and the origin from the, generated from the bake. What I had to do is modify this to actually call the image from the image path that I have set up. And uh, you'll notice that uh, in this image file, and what you're looking at here is the uh, image index page, which um, we'll jump back over. And we'll, this is basically what the image index page is. So you're seeing I'm you know, cycling through each one in the table, I'm generating, and it's calling the image path right there in the file. And this is where it's calling the image. So as you'll see, the, the, the structure, the way I have it here, calling the file name, um, alt tag, you know, you can add arrays, different um, um, parameters on that if you'd like. Um, again, this is a very, very, very basic, simple system just to get you the idea of using KPHP for image uploads. So, um, yes, there is a lot of room for uh, improvement on this and a lot of room for um, a lot of upgrades that could be done uh, and desirable. So, anyway, um, to keep things moving, um, so just remember that it's very important that uh, this file is also updated. Um, and uh, any changes you want to make to the way those are displayed, obviously, are going to be changed in this template file. Um, all right, so that's really about it. Um, and let me let me actually just quickly show you. Um, now, remember, your MEI upload PHP file is going to go in your behaviors folder, and then under your vendors. you're going to see PHP Thumb. And uh, this PHP Thumb was complete. I, I made no modifications to this uh, directory structure. This is exactly as it was provided. Um, and again, this is for image resizing and using that uh, utility as part of the MEIL upload PHP script. And we'll just jump in there real quick. Uh, and again, you know, you can generate thumbnails. Uh, there's default quality, um, a lot of different defaults. And again, you bypass those by actually um, call, uh, defining them in the actual model file. So there's some, obviously, some of them you don't need to do that with. But for example, let's say that you had um, a thumbnail file, uh, a, a large file, a small file, and a medium file. And uh, each path, each file is going to be stored in a separate path. And each width, max width, max height is going to be different. So if you do want to use, you know, jQuery for example to generate, um, a, you know, a really fancy gallery with uh, shadow boxes and things like that, um, you're going to want to have a thumbnail and then generate a larger size. Um, you know, obviously not using the same image because uh, that would just kill your load times. But uh, anyway, well, um, I know this tutorial was very short. I didn't again. I don't have a lot of time because of the eBay restrictions. But what I'd like to do um, is just open up the uh, comments. Uh, if you have any questions. Um, you know, if you're having any trouble getting it running, anything like that, go ahead and post your questions. I'll we'll see if we can get it debugged and sorted out for you. Um, but I uh, hope you learned something useful from this, and I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching.